there is something comforting in watching horror movies in your own home, where you can hide behind your favorite pillow or press pause when needed. Welcome back to Film Shack. Lay back, grab your snacks and enjoy, because today we are going from Elizabeth Moss's latest terror turn to classic remakes to find the top 10 horror movies of 2020 so far. Number 10. Sea Fever 2019 One of the thrills of watching horror films is waiting for the scares to come. In this instance, writer-slash-director Nessa Hardiman is well aware of those expectations. She keeps the camera trained on the hand in the stage circle, the music crescendos and… nothing. Hardiman resists the easy impulse to rip off an appendage in the most satisfying denial of expectations possible, because that's what Sea Fever is, a subversion of conventions, a zig when other, more conventional films would zag, and above all, a smart film. Sea Fever tells the story of smart, blunt, introverted grad student Siobhan, Hermione Corfield. Early in the film, she is ordered out of the lab and into the real world by her professor. Siobhan specializes in behavioral patterns, and her responsibilities aboard the trawler are to photograph and analyze their catch for abnormalities. Unfortunately for her, the crew are proper seafarers, which means they are both extremely pragmatic and superstitious, particularly in regards to her red hair, which is bad luck on a boat. Something's changing the texture of the wood. Tell me you know what that is. Number 9. Underwater, 2020 The fact that Underwater was made years ago and rather unceremoniously just dropped into theaters this January with little fanfare is a shame because it is a fun, relentless thrill ride that stars Kristen Stewart saving lives and fighting sea monsters. When a humongous oil drilling rig unleashes hordes of extremophiles and one super beast that looks uncannily like Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, the only remaining crew members in the facility must make their way across the ocean floor in hopes of reaching undamaged escape pods. And it's just a cascading series of terrors for about 90 minutes. Even TJ Miller is a good, welcome addition to the cast. And how often are you hearing that in 2020? Worst idea ever! Number 8. Gretel and Hansel, 2020 Director Osgood Perkins specializes in slow-moving tone studies that immerse the viewer in haunting environs, and his update of the Hansel and Gretel fairy tale pays proper homage to its twisted brother's grim origins. When the two kids are cast out of their home by an unhinged mother, Gretel, Sophia Lillis, knows it's up to her to provide for and protect her little brother. One day deep in the woods, they find a cottage with a beautiful bounty on the table, and hungry Hansel, Samuel Leakey, can't help breaking in to steal a few bites. That, of course, is when they meet the witch of the house, who takes the siblings into shelter and fattens them up. Except this time around, the witch, named Holda, played by Alice Cridge, takes a liking to Gretel and enlightens her about the truth of feminine power and the secrets of the earth. Sophia Lillis is having a moment, so get on board. They were given the same gift, the same magic. Number 7. Shirley, 2020 as willfully unconventional as a literary portrait could possibly be, Madeline's Madeline director Josephine Decker's take on Shirley Jackson is a thrillingly perverse example of what happens when the shackles of biopic formula are cast aside. Based on Shirley, a novel, the acclaimed book from Susan Scarf Merrill, Shirley tells of a fictitious dynamic, an imagined period where a younger couple moved in with Jackson and her husband but weaves in known details about the reclusive horror writer's life and personality. It's a strange construction, but one that feels fitting given what we know of her, a woman who found reality and the rules that came with it to be rather pedestrian. It's as unusual a film as she was an author, and one would imagine she'd get a devious kick out of the dark places the film takes us to. Freud would have had a field day. Number 6. The Platform, 2019 There have already been a few serendipitous horror releases this year that feature people being trapped and or tortured in one place. For the best of this group, Vulture selects The Platform, a Spanish movie that takes place in a vertical prison composed of concrete cubes stacked atop another. The only food available is served on a platform that descends from level one down to the bottom, hundreds of cells below, forcing inmates to eat only what the people above them have been generous enough to leave behind. It's brutal and grotesque, and the central character is a man who refuses to conform to the barbarism of the system until desperation and hunger push him to the brink. The platform debuted in the month social isolation orders brought the country to a halt, and it couldn't be a better feel-bad movie for the moment. 
Number 5. Come to Daddy 2019 A great thing about Elijah Wood is that if he's starring in a movie, it will almost certainly be strange or terrifying or gory or a combination of all three. In Come to Daddy, Wood plays Norval, a Los Angeles soft boy whose estranged dad has written a letter requesting a reunion at his remote coastal home. Since Norval knows almost nothing about his dad and yearns to connect, he agrees and schleps through the woods into semi-isolation where he finds a real bastard of a man waiting to greet him. But maybe his dad is just uncomfortable with his feelings when it comes to family. Well, the situation takes a truly bizarre turn for the worse, and things just keep getting crazier and bloodier from there. Dad, why did you ask me to come here? I don't want to discuss it. He's not how I imagined him. Number 4. Color Out of Space 2019 After a decades-long absence from the director's chair, at least in the context of narrative features, Richard Stanley finally returned in the weirdest, wildest way with the H.P. Lovecraft adaptation Color Out of Space, for which he also wrote the screenplay. Nicolas Cage and Jolie Richardson star as a married couple living in a beautiful rural home with their three kids. Their pleasant little life is rudely interrupted when a glowing meteorite strikes down in their front lawn. Soon, the surrounding area starts to resemble Area X in Annihilation, and each member of the family starts deteriorating in a uniquely disturbing way. Plus, Cage goes absolutely nuts in this movie, which is a gorgeous sci-fi nightmare you can't miss. It's in the static, it's in the moisture, it's in here, it's out there. Number 3. Swallow 2019 Although the movie Swallow features a main character who develops a compulsion for eating dangerous objects, the real horror of the movie is existential. Haley Bennett plays a beautiful housewife named Hunter, who has landed a rich man and lives in a rich home filled with rich things. She is utterly comfortable and increasingly miserable as the paint-by-numbers life she married into starts crushing her under the weight of family expectations, shame, and imposter syndrome. Hunter's desire to swallow what is forbidden sparks the beginning stages of a rebellion against the person she's become. Carlo Mirabella Davis wrote and directed this movie, inspired by the life of his own grandmother, and it will haunt you long after it's done. You get back here with my kid. Number 2. The Lodge 2019 The Lodge is a polarizing experience, and certain shocking narrative choices by co-directors Veronica Franz and Severin Fiala are just as likely to alienate some audience members as they are to cast an unbreakable spell on others. We sit in the latter camp. Riley Keough stars as Grace, a young woman going on a winter holiday with her fiancé and his kids, who are outraged she was able to replace their mother so quickly. To make matters worse, the dad, Richard Armitage, has to stay back in the city for work while the three of them hole up in a snowy cabin, where one morning, everyone wakes to find basically all of the household objects missing. No food, no Christmas stockings, no nothing. And they're too snowed in to leave or get help. The mystery is, the children are having some insidious fun at Grace's expense to punish their future stepmom. Or is there a supernatural menace manifesting from her mysterious past to terrorize them all? The directors behind Goodnight Mommy will make you question the fundamental innocence of children once again. We're leaving. We can't leave. Please leave me. We're stuck here. Number 1. The Invisible Man, 2020. The year's first horror blockbuster is a new spin on a classic. Writer and director Lee Wannell conceived of this take on Universal's The Invisible Man by making the title character a domestic abuser and the hero his girlfriend who is trying to escape him at any cost. Adrian, Oliver Jackson Cohen, swore to Celia, Elizabeth Moss, that she'd never be able to leave him, and if she ever tried, he would find her and walk right up to her without her even noticing. Well, Adrian makes good on his promise after Celia breaks free, but he makes his presence very, very known, but only to her, dragging her back into his cycle of abuse and gaslighting alone. Moss gives a major performance, and Wano threads the needle of mass appeal cinema and vital social messaging with deftness, while still making a movie that hits like an 18-wheel truck. Thank you for watching. We would like to invite you to share your opinion with us. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!